Commanders of the Southwest Security Network, codenamed Amoteko Corps, have assured people of the region that it would build synergy to avert a repeat of the attack on St. Francis Catholic Church in Owo Ondo State's capital, in Owo Ondo State. They stated these when they visited the scene of the June 5th church attack, where over 40 worshippers were killed. There is more in this report. This visit by Amotekun commanders in the southwest state came after the attack on St. Francis Church in Owo. The attack, which has been widely condemned, claimed lives of more than 40 worshippers and left many injured. The commanders from Ikiti, Oshun, Ogun and Oyo states came to commiserate with people of Undo state and their colleague. They resolved to work at that to prevent repeat of such deadly and devastating attack. A visit of Their host, Adetuji Adeleya, who doubles as the special advisor to Undo state governor on security matters, said the commanders collaborate more to tackle insecurity in the region. The Undo state people, we want to reassure them that uh, the chief executives of all the western states uh, are determined to continue to ensure the security of lives and property are guaranteed in these states and we want the people to be rest assured that even the federal government and all other security agencies are not leaving any stone unturned. The position of Adileye was supported by other commanders. We are here just to pay condolence visit and to show solidarity with our leader, uh, the chairman of our group, and also to assess the extent of damage. Because this type of a thing that happened there is not only an attack on Ondo, it's an attack on the Yoruba race. And we, I'm talking, we not condone that. I look at this as, a, as an attack on our collective will uh, in the southwest states of Nigeria. Uh, it's quite unfortunate, like I said. They also visited the scene of the incident at the palace of Olowo of Owo, where they promised continuous synergy, reduce crime, and bring perpetrators of the art to book. Ayodejim Moradeyo, TVC News, Akure.